Hello everyone, it's Farkad here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make man-made islands. You can do it to areas that are under the water, though I'm going to do it on this one, uh, because you can make this island a lot bigger and much more viable. And essentially it's just using rock walls, and I place it just above. Now do this on flat ocean quality so you can see properly where your rock walls are sitting. If you do it on high or low, the waves will come up and it will mess your trajectory up where you're trying to place it. Now you can only place 13 clicks on rock walls, but I'll show you how to get around that. And if this is going to be too expensive or too tedious for you to get all the rocks, I'll show you a cheaper way, it just doesn't look as good. Okay. Since we're becoming too close to the 13 limit, what I do is that I'll go over here. Say like that. And then what you do is you cancel them. Uh, I'm playing with mods on, so I can probably place more than 13. The standard rate's 13. It just speeds up my videos when I make it with mods. So once that's done, you complete it. Now the issue you'll have with doing it on an island like this is you get the custom floor out and it's just not quite high enough so what you can do is go again cancel that section you don't need that it's starting to do that lip thing when the walls are too wide but that's okay what you do is you place that on top and then you've got a nice big area. It does use a lot of logs, but there is a lot of logs up there, and you could just build a zip line and bring your stuff down. But I'll quickly show you what it looks like. So yeah. Has a pretty cool look to it, I think. As you can tell, some of the areas are a bit higher than others, like there, and the lip will come up above. There's a lot of ways to do this, like you could just build around like that, or you just build a house on top, so like, I just saw a quick mock-up. Definitely makes it a lot easier to make videos when I'm using mods. Try to keep in mind the mechanics do change with mods. So like that. And we'll just whack a roof on it. So like that. So it's got that port look, I, I would say. I don't know what's happened there. Anyway, now the cheaper way to do it. And this won't look as good, just letting you know. So what you'll do, you'll start from the other end of where you were doing it. You could always do the cheaper way first and just fill the gaps later on. So you go place this first one, go one across and then place. Go all the way along, like here, place another two. Go all the way along. Now the problem with this, it won't look as sort of realistic, I think, because you can go a lot further. Another two, go across. Another two, and we'll go two, and we should be able to wrap it back up to here and go two again. Done. Now what you want to do is complete the two sections that you've done. So 13, nope, don't want those. Get rid of all the 13s. Okay, there's a thing. Cancel that. Cancel that. You could always just place the next layer on top, straight up. But I'm getting rid of some of the blueprints. I always get afraid of making a mistake that I'll cancel the wrong one. So not a fan of that. And there. And then you get out your custom thing again. Does the same thing. So it's much easier to see these ones. It doesn't affect the durability. This just makes it a lot cheaper to do. And then you cancel all the other ones. 
Once that's done, you can now place it. Like that. Much cheaper. And that looks like it's perfectly aligning with that one. This is really important because you're going to be doing this legit. You're not going to be cheating like me. Is that when you cover the um, ground, it's where your rocks are. I have to go underneath. This is where all your rocks spawn. You won't be able to access them. You could probably walk around above the floor and guess where they are like that. But it's much more tedious. So there is multiple ways to do it. Though I will show you the look from the outside and I bet you can guess which one looks better. See, this does look a lot better. In my opinion, anyway, just do what you think is the better look. But as I said, you could always just fill it up anyway. It's just, if you want to get the base done, do it this way and then fix it up later on. Now, which pillow gets taken out and causes the whole thing to come down is unknown to me. I thought I actually figured it out, but I, I've got no idea. Every time I do it, the wall seems to change its mind on which one it is. On which one it is that it decides to break the entire platform. So like that. Complete that. And there you go. More than one way to skin a cat. Or a rabbit. It's probably more appropriate for this game. But yeah, as you can see, it will do things like that because we didn't place as many rock walls but you you kind of get what I mean don't you oh, hopefully you do yes as you can see it makes the island much bigger and you don't have to stop there you could always go lower it gets, starts getting harder so we go out here where you can barely see the top of it like that barely see the top and you just go all the way around Remember, if you're building this with your friends or if they're doing it, make sure you tell them, put it on flat ocean quality just while you're doing it. And then it will be much easier to do because the waves really mess you up when you're trying to measure it. And flat ocean quality is just accessed in the options. Nothing too special. And it's the same thing again. I accidentally cancelled the wrong one. Did I? Yeah, I think I did. I don't know if man-made islands is the correct term for this. I think it is. Because it's like uh, what China's been doing with the reefs. They turn them into islands. Get the floor out. So that one's a bit lower, but it makes the island a lot bigger. Look at the size of that. That increases it quite a bit, at least 30%. And it gives you a floor too, so you don't need to build a floor afterwards. And remember, some of these will be at different levels. Whatever the one you place it at, that's at the higher level, is where it will sit. And there's a lot of leeway too. These will always work, unless there's a massive distance between them. Though the floors will cost you a bit. But these are going to be the floors for your base. That's a little bit of grass coming through there and as always you just do 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 you know place a path through here there you go grass remove a little bit there but oh, who cares and yeah if you do have issues with lips you can always use the custom stairs to fix that kind of like this they use a lot of logs though. This is actually rather easy to build, but if you're not confident or you want to trial it out, go into creative mode and give it a go. Or just use mods. There you go. And then you place your walls of whatever you want to do. You could place a lighthouse, that would be a cool idea. This is what this method would be good for as a lighthouse if you want it actually straight out of the water. I'll show you a good place. Um, that's what I love about mods. I can speed it up so much quicker and then I can get the videos out easier. See, like here, 
I can actually stand in the water out here. So what you could do is do it out here. Like that. See? You go a little bit each time. Place that. Place that. Now we'll place a wall. Hopefully we don't trap it ourselves in. Like that. And then you could, obviously that's not a perfect circle, but you get the gist of it. Uh, they won't be able to reach this. So yeah, I have to swim here. So you can build a lighthouse from there. Obviously it gets difficult as you get higher because you can't build up that high without some sort of scaffolding, but yeah. So that is it. As you see, you can make the island massive. And it's completely up to you how you do it and what you build on top. And just for reassurance, you place your zip lines up here, run them down. It's not hard to build a bridge if you wanted to go that route. I wouldn't recommend it because then they'll cross the bridge and get into your base. And you've got your way to get into your base. And the way to get logs into if you want to avoid building a boat. And then once it's all done, you can go back in and change the ocean quality. And that's done. Anyway, let me know what you think of this sort of idea. I would recommend that everyone give it a go, because it's quite fun and it is a very safe build. You know, sometimes cannibals and mutants can glitch into the water, but <laughs> there's nothing you can really do. Just shoot them, kill them, before they reach there. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.